What is the perfect game? The question with no concrete answer. Some will say it's a multiplayer game with infinite replayability. Others will say that it's a game with a captivating story that can change a person's view on life itself. And smart people would say that it's Omori. But what is the perfect game for a developer? A game that you don't have to make. A game that creates itself. Now, before we proceed any further, let me address the elephant in the room. What the fuck did any of that mean? I want to make such a game that when the main core gameplay is coded, it's gonna start making itself. It's gonna constantly evolve and make new levels on that foundation. And by that foundation, I mean its core gameplay. Now it's time to make the game. First, let's pick the genre. I'm not a genius, so I feel like the only thing I can really pick here is a rhythm game, because I feel like I might already have an idea as to what to do. But I'm kinda getting ahead of myself here, so let's begin by making an actual core game first. Well, I did some coding and I came up with this. We have four squares, each representing an arrow key. All we have to do is press the correct arrow key at the correct time. It's a typical rhythm game is what I'm trying to say. Now, it's time to get down to business. How the fuck will this thing create itself? Good question, and I'm here to answer that. I essentially wrote an algorithm that can scan any music file you feed it. After scanning this file and determining some weird properties about it, such as panning, average volume, high points, disturbation in crouching kernel, or dick for short. It uses these values to create a level from the music it's fed. So yeah, you can give this game any music file and it's gonna scan it and it's gonna make a level out of the music. And well, you can play it as much as you want. Well, I've been talking for enough time and doing enough explaining, so it's finally time to test this rhythm game out. Hi, so my face kinda looks like I've been staying in a cave for the past 12 years and I was trying to survive on my own and didn't have access to anything that's sharp. However, that is not of importance to us because we're gonna test the game out. So for our test we're gonna be using probably one of the most popular classical music pieces, and it is copyright free, so that's why I'm using it. One thing I need to mention before we begin, uh, the background image for every single one of these songs is also generated. It looks at the Google image search results for the name of the song, and then it gets the first song, it blurs it out and it darkens it a little bit, and then it uses it as a background. But as you can see here, this one didn't really uh, find a good image, but for example, the other songs do have some related images to them, which it's nice that it is, you know, done automatically, as you can see. Anyways, let's begin. As you can see, even though the game looks kinda ugly as ass, the synchronization is kinda okay. It does skip some of the notes, and if you, you know, look at it with a more um, observant eye, you can notice a pattern as to what it skips and what it syncs up to. However... See, songs like this, and uh, you know, parts of songs like this one here is a perfect way to show how good the sync can be. As you can see, it's pretty much spot on with every single note in the song. I mean, the sync is spot on, but I'm not, so... I am messing up real bad, this is getting a lot more difficult than it was at first, and also, Jesus, how am I supposed to play these? Okay, just... I will probably need to mute for this next one, but I just want to show you this song, because, you know, it is the rhythm game song, so, um... You, you already know what it sounds like, you don't have to hear it. I just want to show you how the m game maps it out, and I'm gonna challenge every single one of you to be able to play this. Okay, anyways, here we go. This is how it maps it out. See? Perfect. Absolutely playable. I love it. Also, I hope I don't get sued for this. I, I can't get sued for this, right? Because I'm not distributing any of the music itself. I'm just, you know, giving you the platform. 
to scan it and turn it into a map and you can't exactly share it like you can but you have to go through the files so I feel like I'm legally safe here but I did not consult a lawyer I'm 17 I don't even have contact to a lawyer so this is gonna be fun if I get sued I can milk it for views yes that makes so much sense well that was fun and as always you can download this game for free from the link in the description but if you're gonna download it just a quick recommendation from me use it with classical music because that's that's the best that this algorithm works with that I wrote. It kind of can mess things up if you work with a lot of heavy electronical music or music with like very heavy bass. So yeah, just a recommendation there. Also, maybe join my Discord while you're at it. And um, yeah, see ya.